Welcome back to Watch Dogs 2 and I look back at the game after we finished the main story, side missions and DLC. Watch Dogs 2 follows a young man called Marcus who has already been labelled a troublemaker but he strives to see more than his label by joining DedSec and helping the people around him. The story doesn't follow on from the first game but instead sets its own path as a standalone experience with surprises along the way. In our playthrough we chose to be non-lethal because like the first game, the choice of weaponry on offer made little sense in the hands of an untrained young man. This choice worked well the majority of the time, although grenades may have killed, we thought of them as just knocking people out. I still don't understand why people carry grenades that can be hacked, but for some reason, they do. The story has a nice pace and keeps you interested in what is coming next, and the hacking allows you to take advantage of the very lax security around you. You get to know the DedSec team throughout the story, and learn more about why they're involved with DedSec. This tight family unit comes together in a glorious ending. The environment is very much alive with people going about their daily lives, but if you look closely, a lot of the people and what they do is replicated around the landscape, and after a while you don't really notice them. Driving is pretty good and the range of cars and motorbikes is nice, but again, after a while, they all become the same. Although the change of environments depending on where you are is nice, it doesn't really help or hinder the experience. The best piece of kit you can use is your drone, as this allows you to get to places you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise, but make sure you get it early. The 3D printer was a nice addition, allowing you to print weapons and change their colours. Your home base is your main point of contact with DedSec, and although other bases are unlocked throughout the map, they aren't really useful and end up not being used. Fast travelling is easy, using the different shops and cafes which sped up getting to certain places but did mean driving wasn't really needed outside of missions. Although the map looks big, it never really feels like a large space which is a shame, but there are a couple of locations which do stand out like the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. The DLCs were more fun than serious, and added a few more missions, but other than the mission Moscow Gambit, it didn't really add much to the story. Trophy hunting is pretty simple, but we didn't do any of the multiplayer, which meant we didn't complete the multiplayer trophies, and we didn't complete the Platinum. All in all, a nice standalone game that shows a less serious side to DedSec and the Watch Dogs series, but still lacks that special element that would make it a game to remember. We will continue our Watch Dogs series with Watch Dogs Legion, starting very soon.